Orcish Galley Fear, cold, pain, hunger. My beaten body ached and tingled. Through the pain and fatigue, I could also make out some loud noises. What I wanted to do was just ignore them and lose myself further in a soothing dream, but the sounds kept growing louder and louder. I could hear weapons clanging, cries of rage and the screams of the dying. My nostrils caught the smell of freshly spilled blood. I strained to peel back my eyelids and discovered myself lying on the rotten, straw-covered floor of a dark room. I tried to move and discovered that my left wrist was firmly secured in a heavy metal cuff, which was attached to a chain that led to a brace hammered into the wall. So, I was a prisoner? At the edge of my vision, I saw a tall orc dressed in leather armor run by with a crooked saber. Then, literally a couple seconds later, I saw his bloodied body fall to the ground. The orc's killer, who turned out to be a huge armored human, walked up to the body on the floor and prudently finished the orc off, driving a short spear into his chest. Seems to be the last of them, he shouted out to someone far behind and was answered in a creaky voice. Great. Free the prisoners and bring them out to our ship. This orcish galley will soon break on the riverside cliffs. Now I was going to be freed. I didn't even have time to feel relieved by that, though, before the huge soldier turned to look at me, made a disgusted face, and drove his spear right through my chest. Darkness came over again. I was lying there, fully dumbfounded, and could not believe what had happened. That man had killed me, or at least seriously wounded me, even though he was clearly supposed to save me. Why? An internal voice laughed and hinted mockingly that I should have been expecting this. The goblin race already had a negative twenty penalty to human reaction, and I had completely stripped myself of charisma. So now, that was how every human, elf, or dwarf I met would react. The pain returned, and I opened my eyes. I saw the world in dark and red tones. As before, I was lying on old putrid hay, but now that hay was also soaked with thick, dark blood. My blood. 